there are moments in medicine as a doctor where you sit back and you say, this is a turning point. This is really miraculous. We are headed in a new direction. This morning, a groundbreaking gene editing therapy that's given nine-month-old KJ Muldoon a second shot at life. It's all been a miracle. That's the only way to describe it. And to be able to create precision, tailored, Dr. Musaniro called it bespoke medicine that can be made so quickly at a low cost that drug companies will want to do this. I mean, this is incredible. Just days after he was born, KJ was diagnosed with a rare genetic disorder called CPS1 deficiency, which causes ammonia to build up in the blood and can lead to brain injury. Unfortunately, about 50% of babies pass away from this disease in the first week of life. The standard of care for the disorder is a liver transplant, but KJ's doctors at Children's Hospital of Philadelphia had another idea. They could try to correct the error in his DNA that was causing his disease. Using what's called CRISPR, or base editor technology, the first time it's ever been used in a child. Estimates show there are more than 7,000 rare diseases affecting 30 million people in the U.S. A similar approach with technology like this could treat hundreds of thousands of genetic diseases like sickle cell, cystic fibrosis, Huntington's disease, and muscular dystrophy. Now to a GMA health alert, the FDA approving a groundbreaking new medication for the treatment of moderate to severe acute pain. First, no opioid medication for pain developed in the last 25 years. It's significant because in light of the opioid epidemic and the addiction and substance use disorder, this medication does not have any of those properties. A BCI or brain computer interface is a sensor that's implanted into someone's brain and then it translates brain signals into an action outside of the body. Now this research area really started off back in the 90s, but in recent years it's really picked up the pace because the advent of AI has allowed us to really accelerate the pace at which we're able to translate uh, brain signals into these actions outside of the body using all sorts of algorithms. Um, so we've seen patients with various uh, forms of neurologic impairment use BCIs to do things like control a phone, a tablet, virtual reality, goggles, you name it. And ABC News was invited to report on the very first FDA approved human trial testing robotic telesurgery. In this case, a doctor in Orlando, Florida, removed prostate cancer from a patient nearly 7,000 miles away in the African country of Angola. Como você tá sentindo hoje? Silva needed advanced surgical treatment to remove his prostate cancer. This is a robotic console. It's attached to a robot, and it's attached to a robot that does surgery in patients uh, in operating rooms all over the world. Unlike a typical surgery, Dr. Patel doesn't need to scrub in. Instead, he sits at a multi-million dollar machine with a three-dimensional screen and nimble controls with haptic feedback. It's about an hour and 20 minutes, which is about my standard time here. A medical first, a simple blood test to help diagnose Alzheimer's disease. It's just been cleared by the Food and Drug Administration. Having an accurate um, biomarker diagnostic test is an essential first step towards first determining which patients actually have Alzheimer's disease compared to other related forms of dementia, but also in the future being able to track the diagnostic um, efficacy of therapeutics um, as, as basically as they're being implemented in patients. We've got a terrible crisis in terms of an organ shortage in that only about 3% of the people who could potentially benefit from a transplant each year actually receive one. And to be able to replace a failing organ in someone is the difference between life and death. The pig organ can really replace a human organ and do all the things that a human organ can do. Um, and it's really just a matter of overcoming the immunosuppression and, and preventing rejection. That's really what the work that we're doing right now is all about. I think it's going to happen and it's going to happen in the next five years. And people will be receiving xenotransplants on a regular basis. It's going to be normalized and uh, it's going to be something that will benefit thousands first and then millions of people around the world. Big news for people who suffer with sleep apnea. There's a pill now in development and it's showing some positive results in trials. More research is of course needed, but the drug's maker plans to seek FDA approval early next year.